what's happening your girl frankie robinson taking pride in pride and this is unfortunately my last day of my lgbtq campaign taking pride in pride man i'm so excited because today one of my faves like everybody that i handpick I've been so excited about interviewing everybody, and this has been a wonderful, wonderful experience. But today, baby of the LGBTQ community, Maddie is in the building. Yes, yes. Hey, Miss Robinson. They don't understand. And they don't know. Is this thing on? Is it on? Honey? Is this thing recording? What's <laughs> up, bro? Girl, I am so blessed for this experience. Wait, hold on, Queen. Let me get. Let me stop the phone for a second. Hold on. Go ahead. Do what you got to do. I'm going to just talk to the people real quick. Y'all, we got T.S. Madison in the building. Child, Listen, let me. Chicago. What's up, yes. Chicago? Yes. yes. And listen. Uh, I'm going to say y'all heading out. You heading out. Bye, girl. Yes. Head on out there. Head on out, girl. Make sure you don't come back. Don't let the door knock yeah, on you. The good Lord split your bitch. Please. Listen. I was just hey, this is a form of love. There will be no shade. There will be no negativity. Or your ass will get the chop. That's Here. right. That's Here. right. What's poppin'? What's up, baby girl? What's going on out there in, uh, in the shot town? Shot, girl, shot, too shot. Much, too much, honey. Give me the tea. Pull me the tea. What's going on in the shot? Girl, you know what they out here? They act, acting a fool, cutting a fool, killing these babies every weekend. It's another baby that they didn't kill, girl. Last Saturday, we buried a three-year-old. The same Saturday, we had a one-year-old that was murdered. Uh, the next day, we had a 10-year-old that was murdered. Saturday night, an eight-year-old was shot, grazed by a bullet. Girl, they cutting a fool out here. What? They cutting a fool out here. What's going on? What is it? What's going on? You know, on? let me give you a combination of what it is in a nutshell, and then we're going to talk about you. What it is in a nutshell is lack of parenting, lack of resources, no jobs, no trades. Um, now, wait a minute. Uh, There's a lot of trades there. but <laughs> ah! I can't. I can't. Now, that's a whole it's lot of trades there, but you're oh, talking about honey. It's oh, okay. You talking about the other stuff? Right. Yeah, I'm the sorry. other stuff. I'm it's sorry. a whole lot of gang situations going on, um, and then we have a new generation of drug addicts. Like this is um, unfortunate, but it's true, girl. These pills got them out here thinking that they Superman, you know, right. and just a whole lot of petty shit in a nutshell. Like it's a lot of pettiness going on that shouldn't be going on, and. You know, like I said, lack of lack of um, lack of parenting and lack of luck, lack of love for one another. You know, it's 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 sad that we have a whole wonderful, beautiful agenda going on right now um, with the BLM movement, right. and we can't. You know, like how we expect somebody to. Take us seriously when we killing each other. We we asking for equal rights, and then this is how we doing each other. Well, you know, I'm always saying stuff like that or whatever, and you know, they like to tell me that it's not the time. But you know, basically, girl, back. The, it's definitely the time for us to be, you know, to be united. Now, granted, we not gonna all get along with each other. We not right. You know, we ain't gonna get along with each other, and it might be a little, but it might be. But, but if we can come together, you know, for the common cause, we can get stuff get stuff going. But mind right. you, let's be real. Even though that stuff is going on, just let's look at all the changes that have that have happened over the past like what has Beautiful. been about two, three weeks. Like we getting a lot of like like a lot of stuff that's been, you know, in our faces, torn down. And I have to say, wow, I I I'm really glad to be living you know, in this revolutionary period and this monumental period where I'm able to know, like I'm, I'm about to be 43 years old. Work. That's girl. Bad. I'm older than you though. You look good. Girl, we killing them. Yes. We killing I'm, them. But, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad to see that all of these things, like, and my grandparents, my grandfather, he's, he's about to be 80 years old. Oh, man. And he's able to see like things 
that like systems that were in place and stuff that you know um, have been oppressing black people have been boom you know like coming down yeah a lot of times people say well we don't well my mom is very much so like she don't like all the violent stuff she don't like all of that but i said mommy look at how the moves are being made like look at how you know the shit is like really being shaken up yeah coming down you know girl they even gave us a band-aid our color we know we moving in the right direction child yeah. they didn't switch band-aids girl, girl the band-aid they gave us a whole box of crayons girl you did see them did you see all the crayons the crayons yeah girl listen they got them going back taking out blackface on all those old shows Honey, Mrs. Butterworth, her stock probably went because Aunt Jamama was definitely in danger. Uncle B is in danger. You know what I'm saying? Like all of these. They things. didn't even. They didn't even get on the Golden Girls, honey, about the scene where Blanche had the Confederate flag. So you already know, like they digging for real. They stopping everything, and I'm I'm so happy that we are in this climate and that we are in this time. But I want to applaud you because it's something that you say all the time that I think is something that. Um, a lot of people don't hear. And you always say that I'm black before I'm gay. I was black before I was anything. And I think that a lot of people um, have it confused when they hear black trans lives matter. Can you break it down well, to our well, audience? I have to say it for me, what it means for me. It means um, it's not it's not taken away from anything that, that uh, uh, black lives matter because black lives matter is inclusive inclusive of me anyway but i need to make sure that for those people who are in that movement that don't see it and be like well you know like we y'all lbgt or y'all trans and y'all got a whole nother thing going on no we black too baby you feel me and our lives matter too and i think there's been time and time where a lot of people have you know thought that we are we're because we we're, we fall under the LBGT umbrella, that we're safe from things, you know, when just the other day, I don't know if you watched my post, where a, a, a white gay boy, gay man, posted about Juneteenth. I cussed his motherfucking ass out. Like, why would you post this about Juneteenth and then say, sign the gays? Like, girl, so when, 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 when is gays, when, when, when did you erase black gays? So we're even being erased under a whole With other them. umbrella. You know what I'm saying? So yep. this is why it's important to say black black lives matter, black trans lives matter, because we're not protected because, you know, we might fall under the rainbow girl. Right. Mind you, and let me tell you something. They won't even put a brown stripe on the rainbow flag. So that 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 should tell the people something. They won't even put mm -hmm. a brown stripe on it. Mm-hmm. So we have to say that it's important that we say that it's 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 imperative that we battle for stuff like that because it's just like girl we're black we're black period we're black <laughs> you know when this stuff start coming down and the, and and a, a, a person is going to go with what they are first and I, and I love my my white gay folks or whatever you feel me but when it's when it all boils down. <laughs> You white gay, your privilege still runs down the pipe. It still runs down the pipe to you, even though you might be a little, you know, oppressed here and there. But your privilege come, your white privilege comes first. It comes absolutely. First. You're, gonna, you're gonna get before us. You're, you're gonna get a grant before us, you know, for health care and and for housings and and things like that. You're gonna get that before we do. You're gonna get, you know, your systems and thing, things funded. You know, your prizes are gonna be much bigger than ours because. You know, you're you're funded, you know, by the system that backs you. And, you know, at the end of the day, black people need to understand that. Like, we not, we, we don't, sometimes we don't feel included because it's like, you know, oh, that, that gay shit don't got nothing. I, you know, you know, you hear it. You hear oh, girl, it. please. You know, that we all do. don't got nothing to do with me, you know. And I'm like, no, nah, it, it has a lot to do with you, especially in this movement, because we're all one in this, you know. Yeah. And unfortunately, um, our community, the African-American black community, we rough on, on, on gays. We are, we are yeah. rough. And I mean, it's, um, it's, it's, it's such a, we have lots of disconnects with stuff. We got a disconnect between, you know, um, 
uh, straight men and black, uh, uh, black straight men and, and gay men. And uh, we have a disconnect between, you know, cisgender black women and, and, and black trans women. Like it's, 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 it's so many different lines that are, 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 are just not connecting. And I do think that the disconnect comes a lot from the way that we were, you know, raised under a biblical doctrine. I, I just feel like that, 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 you know, that biblical doctrine has set in us all the way back from, from the slave period. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you know. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about when you do hear people say, well, it's in the Bible and God said it's wrong. So it's wrong. I'm not, I don't want my kids uh, uh, around that. And I don't want my kids exposed and it's just wrong. And they go into hell. And well, I think that those people, you know, have to really look, have to step outside. And I know a lot of people say, well, you can't equate uh, uh, race and, um, you know, sexuality, sexual orientation and gender identity. But, you know, what's the difference? Because I ask a lot, um, when did you choose to be straight? At what point did you choose that you get up and say, I'm going to be straight? Like, do you that. think that? And I used to talk about this stuff all the time, like way back, you know, on my on my uh, lives and stuff. Like there was a time that I struggled with it myself. And I was like, girl, I really wish that I wasn't this way. And I really wish that there was a pill that I could take. And if and I would mm -hmm. take another one just to make sure mm -hmm. that it's gone, you know? Mm -hmm. And I don't think people really have, have actually sat down and really talked, communicated, or understood, or because they already put their hands up like, nah, I don't want to deal with that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and they don't even look at us as human beings, you know? Um, I think that we have gotten to a place where we only heard uh, abomination uh, mm -hmm. uh, in reference to gays, LBGT people, and we've only heard um, hell, hellfire is, is mainly for us, and then everything else can be forgiven. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and it's just it's just that. It's just that we have to break that that thought process and understand that God is not religion. God is relationship, you know? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we have to know that gay people have a relationship with God. You know, if 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 if, if we didn't, God would have been wiped us out of existence, you know? Period. Absolutely. It, this is just the way I feel I feel I feel that you opening up your platform that there might be predominantly um you know heterosexual people watching you know to a person like myself who's trans and and loud mm -hmm. loud and in color you know very unapologetic for who i yes. am yes and i love anything. every every bit of it yes sister i don't hide anything and these are ways that you know some of the some of the stigmas and some of the stuff gets broke uh, broken down because a person can come on here with all types of pre preconceived notions about me and get on here and might laugh a little bit, or, you know, or learn mm -hmm. something and be like, you know what, Dave, them motherfuckers ain't bad as I thought they were. You know? <laughs> so I just think you know, more of this needs to happen. I think yes. more of this, yes. more of more of inclusion, and I know. Lots of times people say, oh, I don't want, I don't want my kids seeing any of that gay stuff on television. Uh, well, remember there was a time that white kids, parents were telling their, saying to other white people that I don't want to see those black people on television. Why do they have to have, like, girl, we don't want to see that. And, 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 and we were influenced by, you know, white culture. Like, all we know yeah. is, even when we, even when we're joking around, like, even though I love, um, I love mamas, but she says, get out of my Caucasian house. You know, Joanne the scam. I love Joanne. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. Joanne. It's funny, but who we, doesn't? Mix shouts out to Joanne. Yeah. But we've equated grandness to rich white woman. Rich mm -hmm. white woman. Bitch, I want to be a rich black woman, honey. Period. You, you know what I'm saying? And Period. You know, so I think we need to see more. I, I agree. To have more and more inclusions of things so that so a lot mm -hmm. of you know, stigma and and lots of hatred could be worn on. The more we hitting it, the more we hitting it, the wall may not be coming down with them first blows, but we win on it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And and just like how you saw last year, um, it was the anniversary 
of um, LGBTQ rights and pride and how so many people came together and it was, you could see it on TV more often. And it was just a lot of things that you weren't seeing in the past that now you had an opportunity to see. Um, just like our station, the station, you know, WGCI for the longest, um, we didn't have a place in pride. And we now for the last couple of years have, you know, have joined the Pride Parade every year. And I think it's essential because whether we acknowledge it or not, a lot of our listeners are gay, are trans, are bisexual, are lesbian. I mean, it just is. People need to understand that you guys, you know, this is everybody's world and we're all here to stay. So it is what it is. But my question to you is we see situations like Dwayne Wade and his daughter. And um, a lot of she's too young. He's too young. He doesn't know what he's doing. And they're egging it on and they pushing it down people's throats. And, and what do you think about people who say, well, he's too young and you shouldn't be pushing him in that direction. Well, he doesn't I know think, what he wants. I think that if they if they knew as when they were young where they wanted to go, and their parents allow, and because and, and, um, it, it it seems so, it seems unnatural because the natural thing is when you're born, you're a boy, you're like a girl. When you're a girl, you're like a boy. You grow up, you be a man. You grow up, you be a woman. Lots of people don't don't have any education on, you know, uh, gender identity. And there are people that are struggling. This is why we have the down low man. Oh my God, and it's so many. We Woo! have the down low man because we won't allow, we won't, we, 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 we tell them you're going to hell if you're gay. So they, they get together and they marry a woman. They give a woman 15,000 children and they sneak off that one or two times. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then we have the suicide rate that's high because people are really over here struggling. Then we have the murders of trans women because the men who are attracted to us and, 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 and want to be with us, they don't, like we have to keep that on the low and as a secret, like this stuff is going on. So for me, I think that what Dwayne Wade is doing with his child is expressing unconditional love, showing unconditional love for, for his child and allowing his child to grow into her identity or whatever it is, you know. My thing is now, and here where I might, here's where I might get in hot water. But when I was hearing people say, but I don't, I don't think Zaya is actually transitioning right now. I think that Zaya is just coming, is just coming into fruition. Oh, Zaya is. I'm a yeah. trans person. You know, you got mm -hmm. to come, you have to come into that first. Like, mm -hmm. I'm trans. And sit in it for a minute, right? For a minute, and then start getting into you know whatever. I I don't think that, and I and they're not doing this, okay? They're not doing this, but mm -hmm. I don't think that at a certain at a young age, young age, that we should administer um, hormone therapy or hormone changing things to ch to children because we still have an adolescent period that we need to go through, mm -hmm. and when we're going through that adolescence adolescent period it's a lot of thoughts going on in the mind a lot of thoughts a lot of like like i told you earlier I, there were there was a time that i thought that i you know i want i didn't want to be you know because maybe because i was going through or, or thought that i was going to go to hell or thought that i was going to go you know or, or going through you know so much you know backlash for it so mm -hmm. we have to allow the children to grow it through their through their adolescent years. That's just my thing. I, I, I feel that way. Like I didn't start transitioning until I was around about 17, 18, 19, okay. like in that space. I didn't start doing it then. I don't think that seven, eight, nine, ten, and you know, I don't think that you they need to be administering, you know, hormone stuff. To, that's that's and that's my opinion. And now to each his own, but but that's my opinion. Whatever you do in your home with your child, that's your business, and I have to respect that. You know, but you you have to deal with the consequences of stuff that go on down the line. Like you you can you can deal with it with it on two ways. One, you can deny you know your child's identity and and then end up being the hurt parent where the child slamming the door on you, walking out of your life forever because they're saying 
bitch, it's me over everything and I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or you can let your child come to you and talk to you and say, mommy, there are things going on inside of me that I don't understand. And, that, you know, I, I, I need to explore these things that's going on inside of me. And, and the best thing that you can do is be a support system for your child be, because you don't want them to go out in the world and let the world devour them up and eat them up. You don't want that type of stuff to happen because you, you, you'll regret it down the line. If Absolutely. You turn on the news. And your child is found dead, murdered at the hands of some homophobe or some transphobe, you know, or your child has hung him, hung him or herself in a closet somewhere. And you over there like, why, why I didn't listen, why I never listened, you know, to my child. So, you know, those are my thoughts. I, I, I feel like that I, I support Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union, you know, for uh, showing their child uh, unconditional love. Egapi love, what God tells us to do. You know what I'm saying? Like love. That was God's main rule for us on this earth. That was his rule. Love one another. Yep. That was his rule. Yep. I yeah. agree. Um, recently, speaking of taking accountability, um, we had Miss B. Simone make some uh -huh. comments yes. that you have voiced your opinion on. I did. And and, and, and maybe I didn't word it right when I when I ranted right on the thing because you know maybe I was talking in my in my urban language like bitch you know but I do feel like that you know when you get into a space and you 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 are um, you have a big spotlight on you because I'm I'm always under heavy heavy scrutiny too because you know, I'm, under, I'm I'm under fire right now for you know women being. I'm offended by the term fish. And I was like, um... Somebody just mentioned that in the uh, comments. I mean, I personally... Well, you understand what it is, and you know I what it is. It. But right. because you, you're a part of... You're a part of a big... Well, you're a part of... Whether you're in the life or not, you're a part of, you know, a community where, you know, that was a slang term or whatever. However, as I explained, because I talked it out with the with the with the girl on my face, or excuse me, on my YouTube channel yesterday, I talked it out with her and I said, Well, listen, if you don't want us, if you don't want me, because I can't speak for anybody else, but if you don't want me referring to you as fish, I won't refer to you as fish because I've never referred to you as, as fish, you know, before. I, I've never referred to you as fish. I've never talked about you as fish. I've always referred to you as your name. You, you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And but you can't police gay lingo when gays are talking with gay or trans talking with each other and it's okay. not it's to me it's almost like a term of endearment because when i think of um i know my my gay girlfriends um who are trans say fish in a good way like i'm right. I'm, I'm giving all fish today like i'm you know i'm yeah, i'm looking at a but, woman but, but you understand exactly what it means, right? But you know, some of them don't want to give that understanding. They think it's a it's a it's a it's a derogatory term because you know, uh, an older is. A, let me tell you something. When I'm reading, oh. when I'm reading, when I'm reading, when I'm reading, if I if me and a woman get into it, I'm not calling you no fish. No, that's not the word. That's the word you get. <laughs> you ain't getting that word. So no, when the library you, is open, that's, that's not. That's
girl, you know, don't come in here looking like fish tonight because they're yeah. gonna pull you together. You yeah, know? because so you had to pass back then or neither or either be shunned or shamed or disrespected. Yes, yeah. there there are lots of you know uh, of, of history behind you know the situation, but I do think that you know that B Simone, B Simone in that situation was really talking out of context, and then she just she just leaned on a thing like, and it sounded like when she said, "Oh, I got tranny, uh, you know, tranny friends and girl, you know, and, and girl, I don't not worry about the LBGT tomato lettuce bacon and tomato, you know, community like." And I think that we're in, in very sensitive times because we can't say to a white person who might get in the conversation to be like, well, what about those blackies and, you know, the black stuff? That yeah, are you just can't say everything. And especially yeah. when you have that kind of platform, like I'm, I don't even have that big of a platform like you do or like B. Simone does, but. I do have a big platform and well, I have, have to be platform. very, listen, I have to be very mindful. People, if you're reaching people, whether, you, whether you're reaching three, 300, 3,000 or 3 million, that is your platform. You're doing yep. what God called you to do because everybody can't do that. Like Amen. Everybody Thank here you. Who got an Instagram account. They got 10 people on it, girl. Listen, God <laughs> didn't call you to do that. Just keep working. <laughs> That's what God called you to do, girl. Oh, you heard me say he ain't tell you to do that, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I just think that people that they that that before they start getting on podcasts and things like that, if they are if they are not meaning to offend or not meaning to come off, a, you don't know, with any phobic thing at the end of whatever it is, whether it's homophobic, transphobic, I feel like that the first words out of out of heterosexual people mouth should be i don't know yeah I don't and know what to say. just be mindful you know be I, mindful I, I don't know. like be i mindful. don't know what to say i don't know mm -hmm. what to say i don't really understand it because and the word tranny and i tried to explain this the other day like when i was because you know i was cusses and fusses girl when i was cussing and fussing I know, like, people that was coming against me i was like girl y'all jumped all out the window girl but didn't know that i was waiting on you bitches outside <laughs> the word <laughs> The word tranny, I was not offended by, by you know, them saying the word tranny because, you know, I, the, 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 the original usage for the word tranny was, it was a short, short version of saying transgender or transsexual was a short mm -hmm. version. However, over the course of time, you know, there, there has been people that have been murdered. Those are the last words they heard, tranny, faggot, you know, dyke. You know, all of these things that, that are used in a way. Fish ain't been the last words that people have, have been <laughs> right. <laughs> heard before they've been. <laughs> you know, those not those haven't been the last words. It's been fat. Girl, you in this mini bag. Hold on. Girl, listen, you got to stay prepared. Girl, you in the mini bag, dear. Listen, you my mom says, yeah, you are so ready. That's what my book says. Wait, that was weak. You know, my book say who? So... <laughs> You know, so I just think that. Well, let me finish. So I was I was not angry about it because right. it didn't it didn't. I've, I've monetized off of the word tranny. I've monetized off of the word she male. I've monetized off of that. However, as the time has progressed and there have been you know countless lives lost, countless trans lives lost. You know, I had to say, mm, Madison, it may not you know affect you, but you got to fall back you know, from that because this 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 has been an oppressive word. This has been a word that, that has death on it. This this word has, has vitriol attached to it. So you gotta back up from that or whatever and you got to see it from this because I was once once I was outside I was gonna parade like fuck that. I'm I'm being honest. <laughs> fuck that shit. Um Tranny ain't nothing but I was in a selfish space only thinking about, you know, that that's what I've made you know, lots of my money from like I've made my money from that, so it didn't affect me. However, it was affecting other people around that was not in that industry. You know, so it was. It's important that I had some type, some type of. Hold on, sister. Hold on. Getting to that bag. If y'all didn't know, man, we're taking pride and pride with the yeah, one. I'm, I'm sorry, yes, Madison. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It, you can it, baby. That's why it's important that, that you have some type of sensitivity to it because, you know, 
people have been have been losing their lives, you know, in, in for that. So I just had to fall back. And my thing was what angered me in the conversation. Okay, what angered me in the conversation was uh, uh, two uh, si two or three cisgender women trying to explain what a transsexual is, what a transgender is and you know what is this and they're like well it's a dude in a wig and if a dude ain't had a sex change or sexual reassignment surgery or if a dude ain't did this then they ain't no transsexual they still did just a dude in a wig and i'm like wait a minute like every every trans person does not want to uh aspire have gender reassignment to, surgery. Have, to have gender reassignment surgery like you are so uneducated you're so mm -hmm. dumb to be sitting here trying to explain this on a podcast that mainly, you know, women and men might listen to. And, you know, you, you have these people out here with the thinkies like, oh, well, they, well if they ain't got their dick cut off, then, girl, they're not transsexual. Uh, there's something called a preoperative transsexual and a postoperative post transsexual. Like, it's, we still fall under the transgender uh, umbrella. So it's not, well, you're not a trans because you don't have a sexual reassignment surgery, girl. You a dude in a wig. No, that's not what you are. That, that's not what it is. Mm -hmm. So that was what I was more so angered about than even the term training because I, like like I said, and, and, and I'm, I'm guilty of girl, not really, at, at one point, not really caring about the, the whole training, you know, aspect of the situation. Right. But I, I become more aware and I was like, you know, but but that didn't offend me. Like they could have said that I wouldn't I wouldn't have even responded about it because I'm like, girl, let me I don't even want to get over there. But it was just the, the breakdown and the the, the trying to, uh, you know, explain this, trying to explain this in a way. And I'm like, girl, you don't know what the fuck you talking about, girl. Why are you really sitting here like really trying to break it down? And then she jumps over here and says, oh, well, I got a tranny. Bit. My, you well, girl, your tranny friend. Hasn't hasn't told you should you have know, educated you and works. let you know. She hasn't told you how this stuff works, girl. Like, what, mm -hmm. what are you? What what is it? You know. Mm -hmm. And so you know that's the part that angered me. And and you know mm -hmm. at the end, uh, someone asked, why does everyone say cisgender? That's my question. Um, cisgender is the terminology that's used to differentiate between uh, trans, trans and, uh, and 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 bio and biological. You understand? Right. What I mean? Because. There are cisgender men. Mm -hmm. It's not that cis doesn't just pertain to women. And see, this mm -hmm. is the thing that a lot of women have been so uh, offended by so many different things because because a change has come. And anytime changes come around, there's a huge uncomfortable. Like I'm not comfortable with that. I don't like that. Why you just can't say a real woman, a biological woman? Why can't you say that? Because they're and different terms. It's, like, it's just like you can say that, but that's not a term that the gay the gay community made up. It's a scientific term that differentiates between cis cis by the word biological. Mm -hmm. Biological right. men and women, the gender that these people identify with. You know, I'm trans, so therefore I am transgender. You're cis because you identify as. And look, I'm looking at some of these comments. They actually, a lot of people actually think it's SIS. It's not SIS, it's CIS, cisgender. Yes, yes you know. Yeah. So for me, lots of times when we get into these these places and these conversations and stuff like that, you know, a lot of people say, uh, "Well, I don't like that because I'm just a I'm just a I, well, the 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 term cis is backing up exactly what you're saying." So right. you know, if you're over there trying to let a person know, "Bitch, I'm a real woman," yeah. So we say, "Okay, well, you're cisgender." You're now, cisgender. I ain't cis. I ain't cis. I'm <laughs> real. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. That's what we saying, sis. We saying, sis, that you yes. sis. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like they say, sis means same as sign at birth. Right. Sis. Right. Means Biologic. Biological. Yes. There yeah. it is. Um, yeah, like there's cisgender men <laughs> there's cisgender or women because there are transgender men and there are transgender women. A trans man is a female to male, female to male transgender yes a a trans woman is a male to female transgender so this yes. is why the, there's the difference of cis and trans somebody said got it <laughs> <laughs> so look we gotta wrap it up in a minute because they only give me 30 minutes on here but i always 
Oh, okay. We don't even seem like we've been out here that long. No. Here. No. That's because, girl, this energy is everything. And speaking of energy, now, if you don't want to talk about this, that's fine. I, I can. Let's do it. Let's do it. So people in the comments want to know, and, and before you answer this question, I just want to say something real quick. People want to know why you have such a problem with Kaya. Let well, me just say this okay, real ahead. quick. I personally don't have an issue with her, but I, I will tell you this. When I used to watch the two of you, I always said, I promise you, and it's no shade, this ain't going to last long because the energy was all the way off. There is a different kind of energy that you have. There is a um, warmness and a lovingness to your energy. There's a fun lovingness to your energy. And um, I don't get that from her all the time. I well, get here's the thing. Them. Here's the thing. They love to say that I, I'm, I, I love attacking uh, 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 black women. Uh, Kaya is the biggest attacker of, of all things. Period. Uh, big, she read black women down to the ground. You get what I'm saying? Period. I read it. She reads everybody to the fucking ground. But let's but let's not make this about if if you're mad at me or if they, if they have a problem with me for clapping back because I never clap. I always clap. Clap back. back. So my thing is, I don't got no no problem with Kaya. If the bitch stop do saying fuck shit to me, then I stop mm -hmm. saying fuck shit to her. You know, there's some days that I just pay it. Pay it, pay it, pay it. I'd be like, girl, I ain't finna say nothing. But then these days that she jump out the window, like unwarranted for nothing, and just goes on a whole rampage. And I'm like, okay, today, today's your day. Just like today was that whole day. She got it today. She, she got it all day on my Twitter, all day. So follow me on Twitter at Tennis Madison ATL1. She got it all day today, all day. You know, and my thing is, I don't feel bad about giving it to her motherfucking ass because she gives it to everybody else. So I don't mind giving it to her. If she, if she don't open up her mouth in my direction, she wouldn't hear a peep out of me. And this is the thing that I get with people, right? I don't get, excuse me. Why is it okay for a bitch to say something to you and then you supposed to take the high road because you got so much more to lose you. Yeah, I got a lot of shit to lose, but guess what? I also got uh, my integrity as well. And, and you're a human being. You're not going to get out there every day and just this and the other and make me seem like I'm a pussy because ain't shit pussy about me except this mug, girl. Period. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... This is my last question, and we going to get off here because I didn't went past the time, but I don't care. That's all right. Girl, I'm just, we having fun. It's a good old kiki. Yeah. So, lately, we've been seeing you posting somebody on your IG channel, and I think the people want to know, are you single or are you in a relationship? Well, girl, listen. Listen, I love my <laughs> baby. That's all I can say. I love my baby. We fry bacon saute in that kitchen. We bake fry saute, you know. But how y'all know they ain't the cover up for the real husband that's in the background? Ooh, you heard it here first. Girl, I, I'm, just, I'm just talking. You heard it here first. Will there be <laughs> wedding bells in the near future? Who knows, girl? Who knows? Maybe we might see it on that over there one day. Who can tell? Who and can you know tell? what? That's another thing. When your ass gonna get on TV? You need a I show. Don't know. I don't you know. need a damn show. I don't know. Maybe after the corona. Who knows? But what you think about Miss Corona too? Girl, I think I think I think lots of it is true, and then I think a lot of it is pandemic. I do mm. feel like it's election time coming up. We they were trying to shoot him in. Um, I do think that, uh, especially with all this voter suppression and, and things going on on like now, like girl, all these absentee ballots and like all the things that we're finding out. Like girl, they, they girl, I just read somewhere where they 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 sent one point four bill a uh, billion a trillion dead people to dead people. So you know what they're doing? Oh yeah, you know the what checks. they're doing with the, with those absentee ballots, girl. So. It's all it's, it's just all tied up into the situation. Is it a pandemic? Yes. People mm -hmm. are dying. People mm -hmm. are sick. People are are because I know people with the COVID and I know people who have passed away, you know, mm -hmm. from it. However, I do think that the government and you know 
this whole process is piggybacking off of that, you know, and using the news as propaganda, you know, to push it up. Because every day we find out that there's 19,000 new cases. Well, girl, if it's 19,000 or 9,000 or 8,000 new cases and Trump is on TV saying, well, girl, you know, where, where's everybody going to get tested at? Facts. Where's everybody getting tested? So where are you getting these numbers? And, and I've heard that there are people who have been in a hospital and have passed away from um, other underlying uh, other ca causes, and they're blaming it on the the, the, uh, the COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's all about money. It's all about politics. Uh, they'll take something real and 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 ride the back of it. I'm so glad we got an opportunity. You know, you were the last person for my um, Taking Pride with Pride campaign this month, and I wanted to end it with a bang, and this was everything and Did more. Did you live for have... Did you live? Girl, I'm living. Yes. I'm loving put this on you the YouTube. It. Put this out there on the damn YouTube, Oh, girl, girl it's going everywhere. What do you Good. say? Yes. 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 You know, anytime you are in Chicago, you have to come see me, man. We got to sit in the studio and chop it up. When I get back in the studio, I want you to continue doing what you're doing. You are vital. You are needed. You are loved. You are amazing. Do not stop. I know you ain't going to stop. But don't stop. I love you to death. I love you, you too, always. Baby. Anything you need from me, listen. Get, get, my number, get my number when you when have my people see, get, you know. Let's exchange, you know. Yes, we can chop yes. it up on the phone so you let's can come on my it. show. Yeah, I would love to. Yes, and we chop I would it love up, girl, to. in the morning. You know, I'm girl, I'm probably gonna start doing Maddie in the morning, like five days out the week. That's what I was gonna say, Maddie in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to. Yes, Thank yes. you so much, and I'm gonna hold you to that because I will be there. Well, message you know how to do it. You know my girl. yeah, I know how to get in touch with you. And I and and look, I'm gonna bring a cocktail, and we are gonna have us a good old time. Period. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, baby. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you, much. Maddie Mob. Thank you, Maddie Mob, for who's been down there in the comment section. Thank y'all for who was windmilling for me. Thank y'all haters that came on. Thank, thank y'all haters. And that tell came everybody on. what you're doing real quick. Like you got something going on that we need to know about. You got something that you want to plug. This is your time. Yeah, I'm just plugging Maddie in the morning. Make sure you tune into Maddie in the morning. I'm I'm live on all my social media, Twitter, uh, uh, Facebook, uh, and YouTube. Uh, it's T S Madison Hinton, um, a T S Madison A T O one on Twitter. Um, Girl, that's well. That's all I can say for now. Like I can't really, you know, talk about everything else. But for now, join me on Maddie in the morning and Monday nights. Uh, I'm I'm on, I'm on a little hiatus. I'm taking a little break because I I have things. <laughs> Girl, I'm taking a little break because I got stuff going on. But I'm gonna bring the show back in a couple of weeks. We just chilling right now for the Queen Supreme Court. And we'll be back, you know, after we done chill, doing what we're we doing. And but I'll be Maddie in the morning. And um, just watch me. Just tune in, girl. Tune in. We love you, girl. We love, love you. you. We too, need baby. you. You are major and essential. Love you, you so baby. much. Anytime you need us, we're here in Chicago. You already know who it is. It's T S Madison. Hey. <laughs> Good Bye, night, baby. Mom. Hehehehe. <laughs>